Look, you insignificant peon! Tell me where he is, or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it! I already told you what I know! I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order. Prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patience. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well... Perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. Back away from the boy, slowly. Who dares threaten the Prince of Ira? Me. Now, step back. It seems the gods wish me to grant you and your master another chance. Very well. Tell Hippocrates that if he doesn't make a public show of respect to the gods, I will raise an army of believers against him. If the doctor can't think of a suitable offering, his head will do. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? My services... don't come free. Here, take this. Though perhaps Hippocrates can teach you something about helping those in need when you speak with him. How will I know who I'm looking for? Head southeast of Hera's Watch, near the Cave of Pan. He'll be standing before a long line of sick people. You'll know him by his... Uh, bald spot, though I wouldn't mention it. So many sick people. Can one man help all of them?
man's condition. An excess of phlegm, doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also... This is important. Where are all these people coming from, anyway? Patience, mercenary. They, they come from everywhere, but this is the overflow from the sanctuary of Asclepius. Since the war began, with the come sickness. I've come from your clinic in Argos. So Stratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. So Stratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? Of course I did. I'm a mystios. I'm generous, but honest at least. What can I do? Cassandra of Sparta. What did you come here for, Cassandra of Sparta? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepius can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind will be taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. Mighty Tyrians. Built by Pocratus's notes are well guarded. Why?
to check on them.
Something's going on. Yeah. <sighs> 
What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself? I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. You must work for Drachmi, just like everyone else. Whatever the commander is paying you, I'll pay you more. Then we leave. And let this person die. I could be convinced. On two conditions. Out with it. I'll take double. A life's worth a lot. And for the sake of the gods, don't tell Hippocrates. Hippocrates puts healing patients before getting paid. And you expect a fortune? We can't all be Hippocrates. If you don't have the Drachmi, then stand back and let me heal my patient. There isn't enough time. I need you at Hippocrates' camp now. Let's go, Phobos. Maybe the punch was a bit tasty. He couldn't wait forever, but neither could the practice.
Φινή τρόπο συνέβη. Ε, πήγη τρέχει. Έλα. Do you have my notes? I'm sorry, they were burned when the fort was attacked. No! I tried to bring the fort's doctor, but he was killed before we could get here. That's awful. I'll have to do my best. He's dead. I wish I could have helped you more. I can't fault you for trying. Time to rack my brain and reconstruct those notes before another patient is lost. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Come with me. You've had a busy day. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But two more serious matters. I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I need my mother. I need no how how her. I told her her away, away. but her hair will go off of her life, and this bear was born into my, my mind. It has never left, left, left me, and it never left me. After her, I swore upon her that I would run away and be patient, that I would keep my life in the cause. She made an impression on me, you are very happy to do it. She really would have happy to know that. I sent one mother to the sanctuary by the plague lips. Tell the other young priests to treat people with a sacred disease. It's a smoothie on the air. Any medication is easy. Then, then, we talk about it. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see you now. If you're here for your purification, you have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about the Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that, that eagle of yours, yours sit in your ears? ears? A man of strict orders is not to talk to, talk to any mercenaries, especially not to talk about part women, women, women or even babies. babies. I never mentioned the baby. baby. Fingers you're so smart. smart. Many, Many women pass with the baby babies. Now, now leave, leave me. I have my own problems to deal with. with. Maybe, Maybe I can help, help you. Snakes! Snakes.
those three mistakes. I carved up every single one of those slimy malikes. My babies! What have you done to my babies? Your snakes infested my bathhouse! A sick man is dead because of them! You! You did this! Good snakes are dead snakes. You'll pay for this! I curse you! Well? Well what? I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Mithen, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> I like your snakes. At least I got a name. Neither. He's over there. There he is. Greetings, young one. Come to offer Asclepios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. This way. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Igor. <laughs> Ah, I remember this tale, written during the time of the great Elod revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these... treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. He showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands, and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for years. But what really inspires is greatness. Much it. 
Πράξη είναι επιφέρει πράξη και παρεπόμενα. Πράξη και παρεπόμενα. Αυτό να την αποτελέσει. Αυτό να την αποτελέσει. και αναγκαίων. Αμάντζ, πέστε φρέντι, δείτε. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads, of Sparta, came here with child, sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. Child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Iraklis, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? I'm filthy and could use a good bath. The kind priest here was pointing me in the direction of the bathhouse. Um, yes, but that's correct. Uh, the bathhouse is right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me. The baths are for healing the sick, not for washing the blood off one's hands. Leave. Hiding by the tree. I thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, don't. please. Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. No course to ask or give it.
Asclepio spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the Eagle Bearer. Wants nothing but Drachmi for blood. I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure. And it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need the beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, toward the coast. Bring it to me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will help these people, but I know why you're really here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the eagle-bearing mystios, or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. I'll find this bull for you. White bull. Am I too late?
Like he died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. It'll have to do. Oh, not the best feeling. But I hope this heart is enough. If they want the whole bull, they can come get it themselves. You are mine! I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly, and with just a heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of our lease. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by the sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's so 
Okay, give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You regret this! <laughs> Not an easy choice, Mistios. But it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary. But, but sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often. That is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being tended to by the sect. Thank you. I, I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them. She tried to stay out of sight. Sounds cute. I'd better check it out. We need to check this one out. Stay alert. They're dead. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. 
I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now, why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. I want answers from him. Not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my brother here, you and your priests left him for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that witch stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. I don't believe you. Dead? How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky he survived as long as he did. That fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby! My baby! Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. Uh. <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. He wept for that Spartan woman so far from home. Her baby barely recognizable, hardly breathing. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Midon told me how the Spartan woman wept, held the baby in her arms, sang to him, before finally leaving him to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? There is an altar where people offer their sick babies to be healed. This is where she took the Find it near the statue of Apollo Maleatas, and you'll find Chrysis. People come to this sanctuary to heal. But I come here and find people dying without hope, priests without tongues, and babies left with an insane woman. <laughs> My mother was a fool to trust any of you. I'm going to find Chrysis, and she's going to pay for what she's done. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. So this is the key to finding my mother. I must find this altar of all my adults. <laughs> There's the altar of Apollo Maleatas.
There's the statue of Apollo. And the altar. A warning. Must be getting close. seems to run in your bloodline, almighty oh eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake. I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But he was. Oh, how she wept when his little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of him. Placed him on this very altar. Screamed for the gods to spare his life. And they listened. I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused. <laughs> this world is pain. I gave Themos strength to cope. Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your brother. Here, let me show you. My child! This baby is yours? She was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. Gods bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Chrysis' reign of terror must end. If what Chrysis said was true, Mirini believes my brother died long ago. I should have enough information now. I should have I can't let Chrysis walk free. I'll do that, Malaka.